Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Eat Street where we're going to take some of the most delicious and mouth-watering dishes from all around the world and bring them direct to your living room. My name is Waz and as ever we're joined by our super talented Chef Nitesh who's going to take us through what we're doing today. I like the look of this one already. Yeah. I don't know exactly what we've got planned. But I know that I like chicken and I know that I like kima. What have you got planned? So we are cooking murg musallam. Interesting. So for that we've got a whole chicken. Yeah. And we're going to stuff this whole chicken with oh, yes. the spiced uh, lamb mince and egg and then cook it in the oven. And then we're going to serve it on a bed of rice. I'm sold. You've yeah. got me. I love this idea already. Not too keen on the egg, but stuffing a chicken with more meat. You can't go wrong. You know, I'd stuff a chicken with a chicken if I could, but <laughs> it's fine. That sounds great. Let's get it started. Cool. What I want you to do is I want you to marinate the lamb mince. I'm going to need my gloves. That's uh -huh. a progress. Prepared. Cooling. So you want me to marinate the mince, yeah? Yes, I'm going to add this. If you add okay. it for me, the so right I'm amount. Gonna... Carrot. Carrot. Tomato. Red pepper. Red pepper. Green pepper. I was just checking. Just checking your. Alhamdulillah, you on it. Red onion. Go salt. Your favorite chili powder. Cumin powder. Coriander powder. Garam masala, a bit of kasuri meti. Mountain of spices here. We've got some coriander roots in here. Of course. So I want you to mix this and uh, I'll get started with the chicken. Okay. So for the chicken, yeah. have mustard oil. Garam masala. A lot of red chilli powder on this one because we want all the masalas to go inside. Of course. You wouldn't be Let's Eat Street Cumin powder. with a whole lot of chilli powder on everything. Coriander powder. We'll have kasuri methi on this. Rose petals. Rose petals? Yes, dry rose petals. We've got saffron. What do you get from the rose petals? Or is it a particular they, taste? Or? Yeah, they have a very distinct uh, sort of flavour. Mm. To be honest, you know, in, uh, in India, a lot okay. of places, they add it in their biryani as well. Yeah, so, I've seen it used in the other things, some desserts Yeah, yeah. as well. That's just they normally use it mainly as a garnish, I believe. Yeah, but they, okay. yes, yes, they, they do use it in the desserts as well. I'm just wondering how people come up with all this stuff. Like who sat there one day, stuffed the chicken at all? You know what's missing? Some petals off a rose. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I do wonder. But you know, this, uh, this chicken was basically, back in those days, uh, was served uh, only to the kings, the royal families. So it is one of their dishes. So obviously they're, they're chefs. Yes. They're chefs uh, fit, to fit impress them. for a them. king. Yeah. You know, only the best. The chefs to impress them, yeah. they used to obviously come up with new ideas. Uh, so I think, yeah, this is one of them. You We're keep coming stuffing, up with them ideas. Stuffing the chicken with the mince, with the egg. Food fit enough for a king. And then finally, we're going to add yogurt to this. I bet they don't have the king marinating it kima though. <laughs> a 
Perfect. It, uh, you can see, yeah, my chicken is marinated inside, outside, everything done. My okay, keema is ready. Your keema is ready. Now I'm going to stuff your keema. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to stuff a little bit of keema yeah. first. Egg. And then. I don't know if the egg more. is necessary, but we're going to roll with it. Bit more of the keema. Same again. Bit of keema. Egg. And more keema. Can you pass me a tray, please, from there? Yeah. Okay, so that's done. Now, time for our chicken to go in the oven. already know this is going to be amazing. I think I'm looking forward to this one more than anything else. Yeah. yeah. And the leftover marination. Just try to coat it up a little bit. Everywhere. Nicely done. That's it. It's going to go in the oven. 160 degrees. For 25 minutes. Lovely. Okay, our chicken's in the oven. Yep. Time to put it in the oven. Okay, so now while we have got our chicken in the oven, yeah. we'll start with the gravy. Can you pass me the oil, please? With the gravy? Yeah. Okay. Gonna make a little bit of the gravy. This is going to be a sort of a rich, rich gravy with lots of uh, nuts in it. Okay. Yeah. Heat the oil and we'll start with the onion. onion. Uh, add a little bit of salt so it cooks fast. Salt. Yep. Onion. I can see some mangoes over there. We're using them at some point, huh? Yes. But I don't know we for what. We are going to make mango kachumbar. Okay. What exactly is that? Uh, so, you know a side salad, kachumbar, with the cucumber, tomatoes, onions. So, we're going to add and mango to it and make a mango kachumbar. I like the sound of that. Do you like mangoes? Can you tell I'm a fan of salad? I could. Not salad me. <laughs> and I've got a drink for you. How yeah. how much do you fancy lassi? I really like lassi. And what if I say I'm going to make you a coconut lassi? Are you teasing me? Yeah, I do love it. Mango or coconut, let's see. That's me. Okay. Full of surprises, this guy. I'm gonna add spices. We got coriander powder, garam masala, cumin powder. This is already my favorite episode. I haven't even had the food yet. I just know what's coming. I feel like a, an excited kid. Waiting for his mom to make iftar. Not that you're my mom. She ain't got a mustache like that. But yeah, waiting for her to cook the iftar. And I have to wait for it until I can get my hands on it. But it's all going to be worth it in the end. And now, we will be adding almonds. Cashew nut and pistachio. So using the nuts in this dish, you know yeah. there's many people 
Yeah. You have no allergies. Can can we can we replace it with something else? Yes. So what you can do is there's uh you get melon seeds. Okay. Uh, so if you get those melon seeds, they have mm. got a very very similar taste to cashew nuts. Okay. In fact, uh, in India, when they make makhani sauce. Mm. They add 50% of cashew nut and 50% of melon seeds. Okay. So, so you can yeah. just replace the nuts with melon seeds. If you've got a nut allergy at home, you can go uh, and try the melon seeds instead. But this, as well as all the other recipes, all the other ingredients that you might need, you can find them all on the website. So do check that out um, and you can have a look at whatever uh, allergies or whatever requirements you may need and check if it's all suitable. So we'll finish it adding cream. So in here, as of now, we've got onions, tomatoes, coriander powder, ginger garlic paste, cumin powder, garam masala, red chili powder, almonds, cashew nut, almond, cashew, pistachio, pistachio, and we've uh, added a little bit water, cream. And the only thing now we'll add to this is going to be saffron. Actually, let, let's just add that. We'll just add the saffron to this. And now, we'll leave it on the side and let it cool down. Yeah. Now, the reason is, I want to make a blend. Uh, now, the reason is, I want to blend this. I want to make a fine paste. Yeah. And then, that's going to be the sauce for my murg musallam. Okay. So, but the other thing is, it is very dangerous to blend a hot sauce. Yeah. Because it might just blow up the kitchen. So that's why I've left it on side. Don't want that. While we're waiting for the sauce to cool down, we'll make the mango kachumbar salad and coconut lassi. Yeah. And we'll do all of that after the break where you can join us again on Let's Eat Street. And hopefully, we won't blow up the kitchen with our paste. <laughs> Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Let's Eat Street where our chicken is stuffed and in the oven. If you have a look at this, we made it to a fine paste. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep this aside and we will start with our coconut lassi. Mm. So for this, we'll yeah. need yogurt. Yeah. You know what, I'm going to try this one myself at home. Yeah. I'm going to try making it, so I'm going to pay extra attention here. Right, yogurt. And then here, no. we've got half coconut milk, we've got yeah. half milk. I've mixed it together. Okay. Obviously, when you put it in the blender, you can do it separate. Alright, so our milk and our coconut milk into the yogurt. And then we're gonna blend all of that, yeah? And we got sugar. Yes. That's a lot of sugar. That's the way I like it. In the blender. So we got coconut lassi ready now. Let's start with the mango kachumbar. So I want you to put all the ingredients onto this plate. Yeah, so onions. Okay. Onions. So we got tomato. Tomato. Cucumber. Uh, cucumber. No, lots and lots of mangoes. Yeah. Everything. Lots of mango. Oh yeah, I do love mangoes. Shoving it all in. That's it. And just and this. I'll do this one. Just a touch. Just a touch. That's it. That's it. I want you to wear your gloves and mix all of this. I haven't really seen mango in a salad, so something new. I'm gonna sprinkle some coriander on the top. And that's ready. That's it, easy peasy. Over to you, Chef. You know, sometimes I think of really weird things. Like, you know, the guy that invented the clock. How did he know what time it is? Vaz has just left and uh, I'm supposed to be plating the food for him. But before that, I've got a small surprise for him. I'm going to cook a dessert which he doesn't know about. So let's start that. 
take a pan and we'll use ghee. So the, the dessert that we are making is shahi tukda. So in here we have to shallow fry the bread in ghee. It's actually a very simple dessert, uh, but the taste of this dessert is just absolutely amazing. I'm gonna wait until my ghee is uh, hot. I don't want it really hot because I don't want the bread to burn, but at the same time it has to get that nice crisp uh, texture on it. So we'll have to cook this on a medium flame for about two minutes each side. That's the color you're after. You want it to be nice golden color. You see, you've got nice golden color on both the side. And you're gonna make a topping for this. For that, you take another pan. So I've got this milk ready with saffron in it and condensed milk. Just gonna give it a quick stir. We just need to make sure that this milk is warm. We don't need to boil it. We just need to warm it up. I'm gonna leave this aside and we're gonna start plating all our food. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. He's taken some of my favorite things. Get a chicken, get some keema. You stuff the keema into the chicken. What better combination? A keema stuffed chicken. This is genius. Our chicken is ready. It's nicely done. You can see everything is cooked inside as well. Yep, looks, looks perfect. Gonna make a bit of the rice. Our chicken going straight. About the rice. If there's any juices. I'll just add them in on the top. And finally, the sauce that we made for the Murg Musallam. Just drizzle them on the top. And finally, we garnish it with some Nuts. Some crisps. That's more Muslim ready for you. Ooh. And apparently he's got a surprise for me as well. And I don't know what the surprise is, but I did hear something. I wonder what it could be. I hope it's something sweet. I want a dessert. I haven't had a dessert yet. Inshallah, it's a dessert. So now before we serve this uh, mango kachumbar, just dress them up with some olive oil. A little bit of lemon juice. Give it a good mix again. Powder up. mango kachumbar and in here we've got chopped mango, chopped cucumber, chopped tomato, chopped onions. Uh, we spiced it up with some chaat masala and we added some uh, olive oil and lemon juice for the dressing and that's your mango kachumbar salad. Oh, and we've got mangoes in our salad. That's something new. I haven't had mangoes in a salad before. You know what I am excited for though? Coconut lassi. Come on. And you think it can't get any better, like I love lassi and I love coconut. And now we've got coconut lassi. I love this show. So for the coconut lassi, 
we will just take some desiccated coconut on a plate, rub a little bit of lemon at the edges, there you go a nice snowflake gloss and that is your coconut lassi ready. And finally, for our surprise dessert, we have got a bread and we have got this topping that we made for our shahi tukda. Garnish it with some mixed nuts, a bit of saffron, a few rose petals. That is ready. Shahi tukda. You have done yourself on this one. This is the one I've been waiting for. Wow. And that rice as well, huh? How did you do the rice? The rice has got royal cumin seeds, ghee, saffron, milk. Cinnamon steak, fried onions, coriander. This one is impressive. Like imagine bringing this out to your guests at home or to your family. Surprise them with this. Get some of that rice in. Yeah, we need that. Let me try this. Yeah. That's your keema oh, stuffing. Wow. Oh wow. There's egg and there's more keema. Yeah. See the keema in this piece. Keema cooked inside of a chicken. Thank you. Right, can um, I try this now, yeah? A little bit of mango kachumbar on the side. Oh, he's making me wait. Some of that in as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Egg coming out as well. You can, you can keep the egg. But the rest of this, finally, I'm going to try. This has got to be the, my favorite one of the season. Get that rice, get that chicken, some of that keema. I don't even want to talk for the rest of this episode. Now that is about as close to perfect that you're ever going to get. You've got your keema, you've got your chicken, you've got that delicious rice, you've got that fruit and salad on the side, you've got my coconut lassi, and I've even got dessert today. What more can I ask for? Mm. Do you want to try the coconut lassi? Oh yeah. That's what we haven't done yet. Coconut's my favourite flavour. I don't know whether you knew that or whether it's a coincidence, but thank you. That is a proper lassi. Yeah? Texture, yogurt, coconut. Oh. You still got dessert? Shai Tukra? If I have to, you know, comes with the job. Let's give this a try. So talk me through this. What's this exactly? So I, I missed this part. That's shallow fried uh, bread and the topping is milk, condensed milk, saffron. It's reduced a little bit. Beautiful. Nice and crispy, nice and sweet. Even better with the almonds, the pistachios. The perfect end to the perfect meal. To find the recipes for this episode, visit www.imanchannel.tv forward slash let's eat street.